Hi, my name is Nick McPhee, and in this video I'll walk through the basics of installing Jess, the Jython environment for students, on a Macintosh computer. I have a similar video for installing Jess on a Windows computer. See the links in the description below. I'll be following along with the write-up shown on the left. A link to that is available in the description below. There's more detail there and some helpful links, so feel free to have a look at that. Before installing Jess, we need to figure out if you need to install Java on your computer. Jess needs a particular version of Java, namely version 8, to be able to function. Some systems come with Java already installed, or you or someone else may have already installed a version of Java previously for some other reason. If you don't have version 8, though, we will need to install it. To see if you have a version of Java installed, open the terminal application which is in the Utilities folder inside the Applications folder. Then type Java space minus version, all lowercase, and press Return. If you have a version of Java installed, you should get a message that indicates which version you have. Here the first line tells me that this system has version 8 installed. If you have version 8 already installed, then you can skip on to installing Jess. The time code is in the description below. If you have a version other than 8, either newer or older, then you'll need to install version 8, so follow along below. If you have no version of Java installed, you'll get a message telling you that you need to install one. The More Info button here isn't actually very helpful, so just click OK. Now we'll assume you need to install version 8 of Java, either because you don't have any version installed or you have a different one. Go to adoptopenjdk.net, which has installers for different versions of Java for various computers. It should recognize that you're coming from a Mac and say, download for Mac OS x64. Choose version OpenJDK 8 LTS. The 8 is very important there. This will give us version 8 of Java, which is what we need for Jess. You can choose either JVM. I left it at the default hotspot. Now the big blue latest release button should have JDK 8U stuff, stuff, stuff in the little letters. Don't worry about the stuff after the 8U. Go ahead and click that button. If your Mac asks you if you want to allow downloads from adoptopenjdk.net, say allow. After the download completes, go find the package file and double click to start the installer. Click through the steps on the installer, agreeing to the license and typing your password when prompted. When it's all done, you should get a message saying the installation was completed successfully. Yay! Click Close to close the installer. Feel free to move the Adopt OpenJDK installer to the trash. You shouldn't ever need it again. Huzzah! That worked. Now we'll move on to installing Jess. In your web browser, search for Jython Environment for Students Releases. The page you're looking for will likely be the top hit. Alternatively, you can click the link in the associated write-up. After making sure you're on the page shown here, scroll down to the list of releases. We want to download the jess-6.0-macOS.zip file. Click it to start downloading it. If your computer asks if you want to allow downloads from github.com, say allow. After the download finishes, your Mac will automatically unzip the file, leaving you with the folder titled jess 
6.0 Mac OS. Drag this entire folder over to Applications. Click Applications and scroll around until you find the JAS 6.0 Mac OS folder that you just moved there. Double click to open that folder. You should see the JESS application with the snake cartoon icon. Normally you can just double click it to start it, but the first time, and only the first time, you may need to tell your Mac that it's okay to trust this program. To do that, right click or hold down the control key and click on the JESS icon. You should get a pop-up menu. Remember that in the future you'll just be able to double click. This is a one-time thing. From that pop-up menu, choose Open. If Jess started successfully, then you're done, and you can quit. If you actually want to see it in action, however, the write-up has instructions so you can run a small example that shows the kinds of things we'll learn to do with Jess. If Jess worked for you, definitely ignore the rest of this video. Everything that follows is only for people whose installation didn't work. Now, if you're one of those people where nothing seemed to have happened, or it looks like it tried to start, but then it failed, then we probably have a Java problem that we have to resolve. Assuming you got version 8 installed earlier, the problem is likely because you also have a newer, higher numbered version installed like 11 or 14. To find out what's installed, let's open the terminal window. Terminal, again, is in the Utilities folder in the Applications folder. We're going to be typing several commands into the terminal. These commands have to be typed in exactly, including punctuation and case. And the system is quite unforgiving of mistakes. So you might find it easiest to copy and paste commands from the associated written documentation. In the terminal window, type slash usr slash libexec slash java underscore home space minus capital V, important that it's uppercase. When you've got all that right, press return. This should print out information on all the installed versions of Java on your system. On my system, I have version 14, which is the latest, and version 8, which I installed by following the earlier instructions. If you don't have 8, go back and rerun those instructions, because you have to have 8 for just to work. If you have any higher versions, such as 11, or like I have here, 14, then we'll have to disable those, since Jess won't work with versions after 8. This isn't, to be honest, a great solution, but I believe it's the best option we have. See the write-up for some more notes on that. To disable Java versions requires rooting around some and renaming a special file. As you go through these commands, be careful to correctly type things. Case and punctuation matter a lot, for example. Also, make a point of looking for error messages. They may not make a lot of sense, but they'll tell you something bad happened, which will help out a lot if I'm trying to help you later on. Make sure the finder is the active application. It should say Finder up by the Apple icon in the menu bar. Open the Go menu and then select Go to Folder, which is down near the bottom. In the dialog that appears, enter slash library with a capital L, everything else lowercase, slash java, capital J, slash java virtual machines, with a capital J, a capital V, a capital M, and no spaces. When you think you've got all that right, click go. You should then see two or more folders, one for each version of Java you have installed. The names can vary, but they should contain jdk- followed by a version number. In my case, this name contains JDK8, which is the version 8 we just installed, 
and the other here contains JDK-14, which is version 14, which I need to disable. Double-click the folder for the version you wish to disable. In my case, that's version 14 here. You should see a folder named Contents. Double-click that to open it. Now there should be several folders and one file called info.plist. That's the file we have to rename. So I'll select it, just one click, and go to the File menu and choose Rename. I'll give it the new name, info.plist.disabled. We could rename this to whatever we want, really, but using info.plist.disabled will hopefully make it a little easier to undo this later. I'll press Return now to tell the system I'm done entering the new name. You'll be prompted for your password here because people don't typically want to be changing important system files like this. Use the same password you use to log in to your Macintosh. Once that's done, we should have disabled this version of Java. To see that we've done that, let's repeat the user libexec java home minus v command. Now I only have version 8, and version 14 is no longer installed. That's exactly what we want. If you had multiple versions higher than 8, then you'd need to repeat these steps to dis disable all the non-8 versions. When you think you've disabled everything higher than 8, go back and double-click on the Jess icon. Hopefully it will start up just fine, and you're done. If you want to test Jess out, check out the instructions in the associated write-up. Thanks a lot. Hope this helped and definitely let me know if you have any problems or questions.